you have to teach yourself how to spend your own time wisely so that you can have the most success in your classes. I've learned that I can actually manage my time and get my work done properly. How to manage my time a lot better. I work a lot better when I don't have a bunch of distractions around me. I wasn't working very well. I had the TV on and I, I was opening up YouTube and I was taking breaks all the time. But um, uh, throughout the year, I've, I've, I've learned to um, get a, a process down and I have that down now. I've learned that I love baking and I love spending time with my dogs. When I'm in person, I pay a lot more attention. Uh, I learned that I really get my energy from my friends and being around people. Um, during office hours last year, I was likely to go hang out with my friends instead of actually asking for help. But this year, I go when I need the help. Um, I can't procrastinate work uh, and uh, uh, I just need to like get it done with because I'm going to have to do work anyway. Uh, so procrastinating is not good. It's fun just talking to friends in the hallway, seeing them in classrooms, but being by myself in my room alone and just working by myself, um, I was truly productive and I know it's different for other people, but yeah, I would say that worked best for me. I much prefer uh, working at my desk here on campus than my desk in my house. I've learned that ironically, though I'm an English teacher, I am not the best communicator <laughs> with my husband because as you all know, um, everyone has been locked together, and so the proximity has brought about, yeah, conflict, and I need to work on my verbal communication. <laughs> Too much of a good thing, <laughs> being in the house together. I'm actually happy to have people around me, if that makes sense. Before quarantine, I was like really anti-social, like in my old school, I would, I would only have like a certain group that I would hang out with and talk to. but. Um, during quarantine, like, I, I felt lonely, uh, really lonely, and, uh, yeah, and so once I actually finally got back in person here, uh, that did a lot for me, actually. I'm doing COVID, there's been a lot of transactional interactions, but I really appreciate the opportunity to get to know people and have conversations and build relationships. Prior to, like, COVID, I thought I was just, you know, an epic extrovert who could socialize with anybody I wanted to all the time. I've learned that I'm not necessarily an introvert or an extrovert. I'm somewhere in the middle. I realized like, wow, I really do enjoy the more introverted side of things. I think it's been really helpful for me to know that like, I'm, I need a balance of both. I learned how to just be more independent and be an advocate for myself. I really learned to be more confident and like how I'm able to be more confident in myself and just how to not worry what other people think. Uh, I've learned that you can, nothing can hold you back and nothing's impossible and you can do whatever you put your mind to. That I can actually teach a lesson to students who are in front of me, at home, and somewhere else in the building. I think uh, during the quarantine I've really learned uh, that I can be very adaptable and flexible. There's not one direct path that can get you to where you want to be and that there's many different options and ways that you can get there. And in fact, if you're just following some path that everyone else tells you to follow, it might not even be the right one for you. So that's what I've taken away from this year and that's what I learned about myself is that I need to be more open-minded, more adaptable, and that I really just need to try new stuff out and be open to new opportunities. You can teach an old dog new tricks. This year I learned that I can do so much more than I think I can. We've learned that we're hard workers and can make the best out of every situation. I love being part of this one. During quarantine, my favorite way to pass time was baking. And mine was going on hikes with my family and friends. I really learned to appreciate the outdoors. Just getting outside of the house, practicing sports, going on walks, whatever I can do to stay out and active. Getting outside and uh, walking my dog around and taking walks with my family has been really my favorite thing to do. Go on a walk or just play outside with my dog. My favorite way to pass time during the quarantine has definitely been to hang out with my dog. I love walking in the woods with my dog. Hiking, for sure, outdoors um, with the puppy and my husband. <laughs> go out for walks. Um... Just get out into nature, go for a walk, sit outside, but definitely getting outside has definitely helped pass time during quarantine. 
If you haven't tried walking, get out there. There's lots of paths. Even if you're just walking on the street, it's really, really good for your body, your soul, your mind. Uh, I like to pass my time working out and just doing research on my projects and just watching YouTube. Play sports and pick up new hobbies. I played a lot of video games, watched a lot of movies, and read a few books. I also picked up golf. I have been playing a lot of basketball and honestly uh, working. For some reason, I enjoy catching up on work. Um, I've been trying to help around the house too. I was trying to help my parents out, but mostly basketball. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like I read this quote somewhere. It's like you lose yourself in a book, but you also find yourself there. And I just feel like it's a good way to pass the time and a good way to get away from the screens. Getting to read all the books I've been wanting to read for years. Uh, well, I would have to say reading and watching TV. My favorite way to pass time was just watching sports and watching like uh, videos of my favorite players over and over again. And I watched a lot of Netflix, Tiger King, and a lot of movies. I enjoyed watching all the movies that got released on streaming, streaming platforms, but it also made me long for the movie theater experience, which I can't wait to get back to. I watched a lot of boy band interviews, to be specific. <laughs> you would be shocked at the things I know. <laughs> I really enjoyed doing art, like painting and drawing, and making friendship bracelets. And I also really like just watching TV, listening to music, and I got really into like baking and cooking. So I like to bake, um, specifically like things that you can eat really quickly, so I did a lot of baking. Playing video games with my siblings has been really fun. You know, working up the ranks, Sorry James, sorry Samir, sorry Hunter beating you all in 2K. It's been, it's been, it's been great. So I'm an only child, so boredom is very, um, what's the word, very... Prevalent? Prevalent, <laughs> yes, prevalent. Playing basketball, playing video games with my friends, and watching new anime that I haven't seen. Um, I mean it's hard for me to, I haven't been, you know, finding things to do as easily because at home all the time. I mean, can't really see people. Like I have like a basketball hoop and all out front, but I can't really you I mean, there's only so much you can do by yourself. Uh, I just, I just, I don't know, go for bike rides. And I like to draw. Like, I mean, I, I can't throw a football except I can just throw it up in the air and catch it, you know, that's about it. <laughs> I love music, I love artists, and I feel as though during quarantine there was nothing else to do but listen to music. <laughs> so I've started, you know, playing with my dog, throwing her a stick, uh, you know, she's really entertaining. And I just FaceTime my friends, like, every single day, all day. What else? What else? I love to draw, and I played a lot of piano, and quarantine has given me a lot more time to practice. So that's really, really nice. Sleeping or watching a new show. I'm really excited for this summer. Netflix, I love Netflix, so benching shows and baking too. Hopefully, of course, COVID will, you know, not be as prevalent because then we might be able to do more um, things with our friends. So I like to smoke food, so ribs, any kind of meat. So that was a really big thing uh, that I did over quarantine. Pretty simple, just spent a lot of time with my family and I got a lot better at grilling. So my follow-up question is, did you know that I love smoked meats? Oh, no, but I can, I will make some, next time I make some ribs, I will bring you some. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Then you've already answered my next follow-up question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Something I learned to appreciate this year is the opportunities to slow down, to reflect, to not just charge ahead 100 miles an hour, one foot in front of the other, but to take time. This year, I've learned to appreciate smiling with my eyes and people who smile with their eyes back at me. And I've also learned to appreciate the, the drive to school more. Because again, like just chilling out and getting to listen to music for 30 minutes at the beginning and end of the school day is a nice transition. The fact that we've been actually able to participate within athletics, we do have this rare opportunity and we must work really hard. Advisory has been really helpful. Um, kind of to break away from the school if you want to go outside or whatever it's that time is so important uh, for me i've learned to appreciate the little things in life 
the little things like just getting to hug people and getting to hang out with friends. I've learned to appreciate the little things. My friends and the time I spend with them. Time spent with people I enjoy spending time with. The time that I have especially with friends and family. Well, I've come to appreciate just uh, time with friends as in like in school. It's been uh, really good to see my friends in school. And seeing my friends in person. Being in person versus the uh, virtual experience. Just being around people. I'm just excited whenever I can to talk to people. Any moments I get to spend with my friends, I've, I've learned to cherish that. I get to spend time with my friends and, you know, cherish all the moments I have with my family. Spending time with my grandparents or other family members, and really, I really appreciated that this year. The people in my life that would text me and call me, and even if I'm not like completely up to anything, they're still like there for me. The people that really like care about me and the people that I care about, and um, if they really want to reach out, they will, and I know like who really is going to be there for me and who I can count on. And the people who have stuck with me and like raised me up through the difficult times. You know, there's a lot of people who have it like a lot worse, so I have to realize, you know, oh, I gotta, I gotta stay humble. I have to keep in check. I have to realize, oh, you know, I'm not the only one going through an issue. I'm not the only one doing this. How much we have right now. Having a good friend group is worth more friends than people on the earth. So I learned to appreciate not to take moments for granted. I've learned to appreciate how to be bored um, and that it's okay to be bored um, and that boredom is sometimes a gift. <laughs> <laughs> School and my friends. I learned to appreciate get-togethers with friends. Lunch on those even just short periods of time with my wife, Emily. My parents were constantly a source of support for me which I appreciate very much. And this pandemic really opened my eyes to the sacrifices that they'll just always make for me. I've learned to appreciate my students, especially when I do things like forget to turn the volume off on my computer and, and the, echo the echo billows, billows throughout, throughout the building. The um, one thing I want to appreciate this year are my teachers. We've learned to appreciate our teachers. And our friends. I learned to appreciate how the teachers are working really hard. Um, I've heard a lot of people talking about how how much work they have, and how, but still, how much the teachers are on top of everything, even though it's so crazy. I've learned to appreciate my teachers a lot more for everything that they do for us students.
and I felt like even though this year might not have seemed like we had a strong community, we really did. It was just in different ways. Okay, oh, so Miss, Miss, here we go, Miss Tan. Big question. What happens when you procrastinate? Uh, usually I uh, don't do well on the assignment or I end up not doing it. Maybe uh, <laughs> <laughs> cut that part out. <laughs> no, we're going to keep that, buddy. We're going to keep it to all your teachers. <laughs> what kinds of distractions are you dealing with virtually? Um, like distractions with like food. My, uh, I have two siblings as well. So, uh, ah. Yeah, so just seeing them and I always want to like mess with them. <laughs> yeah. Siblings and sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> Any recommendations for a good Netflix show for Mr. Chang? Oh gosh, there's too many. I don't know. Maybe a good baking show. A good baking show, Zumbo's just as it. <laughs> Those days where you got the wing things, like, mmm, like you can you know that it's gonna be a good day if you see those wing things. And also, I recommend it if you haven't tried it, grilled cheese, put some hot sauce on that fire but yeah those are some things i've learned to appreciate so i got a little carried away with that one okay Ainsley, what have you learned sorry the camera's moving too much all right i'm smiling under my mask because i know this is true <laughs> what have you learned about yourself this year uh well i was asked this question in english and i don't think i have an answer for it still but maybe i'll think of one later <laughs> thanks so much mr yeah, man thank you happy graduation happy end of the school year gonna miss you this summer <laughs>